in sentencing you, the intention is not only to punish you for what you had done, but also to serve as a warning to others that this type of conduct, and I'm stressing abuse, abuse of conduct toward women, will not be tolerated in our society. As far as the interest of society is concerned, no sentence that the court will impose today will bring back the deceased to life. She is now gone forever, thanks to you. Her memory will still live on, however. Yes. By sentencing an offender, the court must make it clear that the to the community that their interests are also important. And the community has a right to know that she did not die in vain. It would not be inappropriate to uh, call you a person that gives men a bad name. One looks at your actions before and, and afterwards. Uh, the court has no doubt that you are a danger to society. Uh, you've shown no remorse at all. Even in evidence today, you try to avoid responsibility. You deserve nothing, nothing less than a harsh punishment. No other sentence than imprisonment would be appropriate. You caused an imbalance in the scale of justice, and that imbalance must now be corrected by imposing an appropriate sentence. To take a life comes at a high price. The court has no doubt that you will now, from now on, be an outcast in the community. The court is of the opinion that the following would be an appropriate sentence. For the assault charge, you are sentenced to five years in prison. For murder, you are sentenced to 30 years in prison. <laughs> For the attempt to defeat or obstruct the course of justice, you are sentenced to four years in prison. In the interest of mercy, the court orders that two years of the five years on count one and four years on count three run concurrently with a sentence on count two. Your effective sentence is therefore 32 years in prison. Your advocate had nothing to say in regard to section 12.1 of Act 60 of 2000. Therefore, in terms of that section 12.1 of Act 60 of 2000, the court does not order otherwise, which means that you are now automatically unfit to possess a firearm. Do you understand? Yes, I do.